Hey what's up guys, today we'll be unboxing the K95 Platinum which is a mechanical keyboard um, I've never had a mechanical keyboard and I always wanted one because uh, I do game on my PC as well so it's nice to have a, a gaming keyboard um, I did have a membrane keyboard which was also a gaming keyboard from uh, Shakun um, The nice thing about that one is that it, it had 6 uh, macro keys on the left side and I really really like those, I um, use them both in game and out of game like for video editing and uh, recording stuff on my PC and stuff like that. So th that's the reason why I wanted to have them in my mechanical keyboard as well, which is why I went for the K95 and not for like a smaller one like the K70 or so. Now the reason I went for the Corsair K95 and not for any me other mechanical keyboard like the a Razer keyboard or something is because uh, the housing of the keyboard is made of brushed aluminum, uh, black brushed, uh, brushed aluminum like my case. So that matches my computer case which is really really nice also the lighting of course is RGB and um, it can be said to be synchronized with my Corsair fans so that helps if they are matched from the same brand so you can sync all that stuff I've also got memory like my uh, RAM is also from Corsair and these LEDs can be synced with it as well so that is all really really nice okay let's get the box out uh, there it is, the beauty, the keyboard, in all its glory. Um, let's see if we can get it out. Um, I think I'm gonna need to get the cable out of this box. Let me see. Oh, I think I can just pull it out if I... Yeah, there it comes. <laughs> that was easier than I expected. Oh, gone with the box. Um, I just get the plastic off the keyboard now. Oh, I just stole the plastic. Guess I'm tearing it off then. <laughs> Not the cleanest unboxing I've ever done, but hey. Let's put the keyboard aside for a second and look what else is in the box. We've got this small yellow box. Oh, some extra keycaps. So for the uh, the Q, uh, E, V, R, A, S, D, and the R, and some other keys, which is very very nice. And also the um, the key to take off the keycaps, so you can replace them easily. It's always nice to have some spare keys, just in case. Um, let's see. Should be a wrist rest in this box as well. There it is. Um, I think I can just slide it out. Yep, that's that's the wrist rest. Oh, there's still plastic over the rubber that is like on the wrist rest. So let me first put it on and then I'll get the plastic off that rubber piece. I think I can just click this on. Oh, yup, there it is. Always. Oh, didn't even break it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not gonna get that plastic off. It's sealed on both sides. Like, um, just make a made a small cut with my knife, and uh, that did it. I luckily didn't damage the rubber. So we can now finally get the plastic off and snap it back into the keyboard because I believe it's magnetic. Ooh, yeah, it is. That feels good. That feels really, really good. Types are really, really nice as well. Um, let me get the keyboard powered on so you can see what the lighting modes are. They are standardly on it. There are three lighting modes uh, saved onto the keyboard and that you can like edit them and make your own on the PC in the software. Effect number one. Effect number one is like a rainbow cycle effect as you can see which is counterclockwise, but it also can be set to clockwise. Effect number 
two. Effect number two is random keys popping colors, as you can see. And they can even be set like patterns, like so that it only falls down, like to have more like a Tetris effect downwards to your keyboard. Effect number three. Effect number three is a rainbow wave going from the left to the right side of your keyboard. It can also be said to go from the right to the left side, but yeah, it's more like a wave effect. The lights of this keyboard are absolutely beautiful in the dark, as you will see right now. <laughs> 